IR spectroscopy. The IR stands for infrared. The energy of the absorbed radiation depends on the energy gap in the molecule, specifically the gap in energy between the different vibrational levels. With a CH bond, the energy gap between vibrational levels is large, so they're going to absorb photons at a high frequency. For a CO bond, on the other hand, the energy gap between vibrational levels is small, so a CO bond will absorb lower frequency photons. An IR spectrophotometer irradiates a sample with all frequencies of infrared light, and the frequencies that are absorbed by the sample tell us the types of bonds that are present in the molecule. An IR spectrum, as shown here, has transmittance on the y-axis and wave number, which is related to frequency, on the x-axis. Each one of these valleys we actually think of as peaks because it's transmittance. So we've got big peaks, sharp peaks, little peaks. All of these are peaks. New tilde signifies wave number, which is inverse centimeters. You get it by taking the frequency and dividing it by the speed of light in centimeters per second. At the high energy end of the spectrum, on the left, that 4,000 wave numbers corresponds to 2,500 nanometers as the wavelength of the IR light. 400 wave numbers on the low energy end of the spectrum corresponds to 25,000 nanometers. And notice that the divisions are closer together on the high energy side. There are three characteristics of the IR bands that we have to pay attention to. One is their wave number. The further to the left on the graph, the higher the energy, or the higher the wave number. So this band here, at around 3,400 wave numbers, is higher energy than these bands at 3,000. We also have to pay attention to intensity. That peak, for instance, is very low intensity. We say it's a weak absorption. This peak is medium absorption. These are strong, high intensity. Finally, we have to pay attention to the shape of bands. These bands are very sharp as opposed to this band over here, which is very broad. These three characteristics of each signal, the wave number, intensity, and shape, tell us the functional group. And what you want to do is learn what the bands for each functional group look like, or the characteristic absorptions.